All right, also today, President Joe Biden set to address NATO during a summit marking the group's 75th anniversary. The summit, planned to secure military support for Ukraine, now a test for the president's abilities as he fights to win re-election in the fall. News Nation's Alina Shirazi is in Washington with the latest on this one. Alina, NATO's European members are reportedly looking to, quote, Trump-proof the alliance. Just how big of an impact will American politics have on this week's summit? Good morning to you, Brooke. Well, we know that the Biden administration had hoped that this week would serve as a sort of celebration for NATO's 75th anniversary, but there is certainly this sort of sense of a dark cloud that hangs over not only the Biden administration, but also over this summit. Brooke, we know that there have been Democrats that have been coming out of the shadows calling for the president to resign, and now the shift has really turned toward NATO, trying to determine what would happen if President Trump did win the presidency. We know, of course, growing concerns over President Biden's ability to win in November and NATO members now just trying to make that game plan right so President Trump after all he once declared NATO obsolete he railed against a member states contributions to the alliance and more recently said he would let Russia do whatever it wants to member states that he's displeased with we know that NATO's Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg told reporters on Sunday that NATO will never be a given and that the alliance's continued existence is dependent on political leadership and commitment. We know this is a very sharp contrast, Brooke, from the commitment Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson says is necessary for NATO to continue as it has for the last three quarters of a century. Every NATO member needs to be spending at least 2% of their GDP on defense. That's the agreement. That's the deal. There's 10 or 12 of them that aren't doing that yet. It's no longer acceptable that not all NATO members have reached their current commitment. And we know there's concerns from NATO members, of course, over a second Trump presidency, although they do say a senior diplomat tells Reuters that's something that they believe will be different from President Biden's administration. But, Brooke, they say it's something that they believe that they can handle. So as you can see, this is where we're at now. People already bracing for a second Trump presidency and what would happen if he were to be back in office. Alina Shirazi, thank you for that. Let's Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.